a more complicated test. Um, release player by list plus. We have uh, a conditional inside of where we have to send one of these things in that has a status of three to cover everything. So this is a bit more of a complicated test. Public function test release player by list list works as expected. So let's pseudocode this up. What do we need to make this work? We need a mock DB object mock new delete object, a mock new update object. Um, what methods on the DB object need? We need to have new delete, new update. Um, we need a fetch one and a query. Um, And for the delete object, we would want to mock from and where. And the new update object, we want to mock table, call, set, and where. Um, we need uh, an array of um, we need an array of player IDs. Um, one where status is three, um, and that should be it. So, first, let's create an array of. Um, this is a complicated one. We can set an array of IDs, so we can go. Um, release list um, so we can just do one okay first we just do this one two three four five we'll have five players to be released okay um, that's the first one I don't like this bind thing let's change the bind because it just looks crappy rename hold on Rename bind to values go. That looks better. Um, so let's create our. Okay, so we need a delete. Maybe we can now create these uh, methods that do an update and a delete for us because now we need a secondary delete value. So let's let's just like we did down here. Let's create a method that returns up oh, too many. Um, it creates a delete object. Mock new delete. Let's move our code that created deletes from and where. Over into here. To have our new delete object. New equals this. New delete. That should work. Let's just verify our test still works. Yep, test still works. Um, do we have an update? Yeah, let's let's also create a new object. New update equals this. Create mock new update because we're gonna need that anyway. Move this here.
Back up here. All right. Again, always save these things and then run the test and make sure nothing's broken. Good. Okay. So, for this test, let's, uh, there's our array. So, let's create a mock work backwards.